So earlier on, I posted up a, a picture of what the, each different army group was going to try and achieve as the Soviet player. And since they moved first, let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail. And you know, maybe some other ideas will pop up as we go along. Uh, the you know, Third Shock Army is going to focus its efforts on capturing Lubeck and then Kiel and uh, potentially uh, Hamburg as well. So trying to clear this little section here and hopefully the, the Danes will come down and try and get involved and they'll uh, break themselves on the might of uh, the Soviet army. The 20th Army group here and here are going to uh, punch forward into the woods here and attack the British 1st Armoured Division and with a, in turn one attempting to isolate and cut off Hamburg and allow us to have a nice big gap here. Now the reason why there is a gap or potentially a gap here is because of uh, the forward movement opportunity that NATO had when they rolled to move units. They were successful in moving this guy and this guy but and a few here but none of these guys were able to move and so this is very thin and with three with three activations, I stand a real good chance as a Soviet player of, uh, of uh, potentially killing this unit, isolating these guys, and really threatening Bremen pretty quickly, which will try, which will force units to go this way. <coughs> uh, the second guard and uh, first uh, guard tank division are going to attack into this this section of the map here, uh, trying to drive a wedge this way. And so you can see if uh, we're forcing reinforcement this way and pushing the defense back this way, we're, st we're trying to make a little bit of a gap here somewhere. All right. Then uh, eighth guard and uh, its related units and the 28th army uh, 20th Army is going to go this way, 8th Guard is going to try and bang on this little guy here. Let's see if we can't create a gap and try to weasel. Whoops, now where is this guy? Where did he start? 2211. That's right, he moved up to here. Uh, try and bang into here and and try and scooch around this way, right? And, uh, and force this, this area, this gap here. Uh, so I'm not angling towards Frankfurt like perhaps you might uh, have done historically, but we're going to try and exploit this weakness here and, and pour some forces in. Further down in the south, we want to uh, just try and occupy as much of the forces down here as we can, uh, using the 28th to try and create a, uh, a line here to prevent any reinforcement and uh, engage these units in nominal attacks. We'll make it look like we mean it, but uh, we certainly don't want to put too much effort into any of this because these are all pretty fragile uh, units. These are five effective for effectiveness ratings and six effectiveness ratings. And way down in the south, we'll, we'll attack into Yugoslavia and Austria pretty quickly, uh, as we have um, had already pre planned to do that in any case, even though they were neutral. So we could have left them. And uh, I rolled earlier on to uh, whether to attack or not, and the result was to, to do that. So we had, uh, sorry, so we had uh, committed to uh, moving in and attacking here anyway based on the die roll we made. We just made it a 50-50 choice whether we would or would not do that. Right, so that's the plan for the, uh, for the Soviet army in turn one. And in turn one, the NATO, for, the NATO plan really is just to grit their teeth and hold on, look to see where the potential... Uh, breakthroughs are and then reinforce those breakthroughs and swap out and rotate out units that are weakened and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go at it from, from that perspective from there uh, trying to keep some decent units in the background that we can bounce up and then move units back uh, to recover disruptions and we'll talk about combat and the different numbers on the units and what they all mean uh, in the, at the beginning of the first turn, we'll have a look at those. But this is just give you an overview of the strategy for each side. Uh, we do want to try uh, one of the primary goals in the northern section of the map for the, for the NATO forces will be to try and maintain control of Kiel 
so that we can prevent uh, any uh, amphibious landing efforts and also make sure that we have enough screening forces in the rear that we don't have, end up with two or three divisions uh, being airdropped behind us and causing all sorts of havoc. Uh, so that will be an important thing to keep in mind as we play the game. And that's about all I got for you on that regard too. So we'll talk to you soon and we'll get started with the turn in just a few minutes.